baseball and softball athletes. They were in the chilly elements today. How about some loyal Bradley baseball fans? They were braving the elements at Dozer Park, watching them take on Southern Illinois. Limestone grad Travis Lutz on the mound for the Braves. He's going to look for this pop up in foul territory, but he's called off by Connor O'Brien, who comes up with the catch. Bottom half of that inning, Dunlap native Jackson Chatterton going to send a ball to center. This will be caught, but it is a sack fly to bring a run home and would tie the game at one. Then O'Brien, he's going to have a shot to left center. This is going to get over the wall for a home run and gives Bradley the lead. They would go on to win 6-5. to five. In normal ISU, they were taking on Missouri State. Daniel Pacella at the plate, sees the pitch, and hits it to far left center field. This is going to get out of the ballpark for a home run. He would finish 2-5 of five on the day, and he would score twice. And a ground ball here as the ISU Redbird playing some defense. Luke Chain, he's going to fire over to Adrian Flores for the out at first base. And then Shaden Kubo with a single up the middle for ISU. He would finish with five hits and five RBIs, but it would not be enough. ISU loses 12-6. Across the parking lot, Redbird softball at home against UIC. Addison mashing at the plate. She's going to hit a line drive over the second baseman's head into center field. This brings home Emmy Olsen, and she scores. Chloe Jefferson up to bat, sends a hard grounder into left. This gets through for a single. Then UIC batting. Look at this ground ball. This will be sent to Olsen over at second base. She'll dish over to Abby Knight at first for the out, and ISU gets the low-scoring win 2 to nothing.